ladies and gentlemen, that these people were lucky they were dealing with me. I haven't got a goddamn nerve in my body. I think that they wanted a more artistic version of Faces of Death. Lynn wanted to create a film that didn't have any guardrails, that didn't warn you, that took you into the experience, that just shocked you. If you look at the opening of the film, which we shot at the morgue, you can see you're going into a place with dead bodies. You can see they're about to do an autopsy. So the, the audience closes their eyes so that they, they won't experience it. And that's when we hit the sound effect of the saw. <laughs> so he definitely wanted people to, to be faced with the experience of seeing homicide and committing homicide. He wanted, I think, to take people closer so Faces of Death was really about shock and spectacle. I think that Lynn wanted to take people inside the mind of what it's like to be a murderer. I'm not mentally ill, sir, but I'm not perfect either. They were asking where they could find footage for it. And I went and got some films and some footage for them and showed them to them. And it was exactly what they were looking for. And they'd been unable to that time to figure out how they were going to acquire it. So in the end, I not only directed it, but I also was the line producer. I set up the office and handled finding the films and maintaining the, the base for them in this country. That said, I don't really think it was my film in any way. It really was Len's film and Mata's film and Chieko's film. Yeah. 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 Yeah.